Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen, James Billing here once again for a little mini tutorial. Uh, today is all about long load times in contact. Now, there are a thousand one videos out there to discuss this. Um, and the, the main one, and the main obvious one, a lot of you might think, is battery save. For those that do not know what battery save is, I will very, very quickly show you. But there is one other that I need constantly to remind myself what to do with it. And it is a huge huge time saver by the way you might see me going light and dark quite quickly and not me having to put my finger in your face um the sun keeps coming in and out and the exposure on the, the um camera can't cope with it anyway there we go dark uh right so let me show you battery save very very quickly um here we go contact seven i've recently got double base textures um, and I want to shorten a load time. And I always do this with every single contact instrument. Um, so you go to your file thing here, you go to battery save, ignore all the warning and just say yes. Then you find it. Um, mine is on this hard drive, double base textures, click it, yes. And then you hang around until it's done and you go and make a coffee and blah, blah, blah. So I might just, uh, Oh, well, that was quick. So, so, um, so yes, uh, blah, 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 should be instantaneous. Boom. Happy days. Um, so let me talk to you about the, the one method that I discovered. So, um, I want to just show you occasionally there was a library that I got, which I just didn't know why it would take an age to load. And let me just show you an example of this now. Uh, Kirk Hunter. This is nothing against Kirk Hunter. I love Kirk Hunter, but let's just load percussion. Let's go non-pitched. Let's go for all of this. And it might take a while. So I might even go and make a coffee and I'm going to time it. 10.23. Still going. That's the coffee, by the way. This is probably another good opportunity to rule out other things. Um, so, for example, uh, make sure your firewall isn't on. Turn your firewall off. Turn turn your your virus software off, because um, that can slow things down. That can mess things up. But providing you're offline, of course. Um, and the other one is use SSDs. So I've got a ton of SSD um, external hard drives. Oh, here we go. Right, right. There we are. Um, it's loaded. Um, it's probably taken. I'm going to, I'll look on this, but what was that? Four or five minutes for one patch. Right. So let's get rid of it. Let's see if this actually works. Now, what you want to do and bear in mind that I'm on a window system and um, please, please leave in comments if you know the, the Mac version of this, because um, I don't know what it is, but you want to go to your uh, Windows security settings. So you either pin it down in the taskbar there or just type in Windows security. There you go. And here you go. Um, you want the virus and threat protection. So press that. Now go to virus and threat protection settings, manage settings, and go down here until it says exclusions. So add or remove exclusions. So I think what happens is that when you load an instrument contact, your, your very kind window system scans it. And we want it to not. So add an exclusion. You've got file, folder, file type, or process. Now, we want the folder because we want to actually find the instrument um, of kinetic percussion. Um, I think it's in this one. Kinetic percussion. That one. And there you go. So, kinetic percussion, kinetic percussion. No. Um, I'm going to close down contact. I'm going to load contact again. 
So contact seven stereo. So I'll just let the uh, quick load work again. I could go to my files and just load it from there, but let's go quick load. Okay. And should we just try this one more time? See how long it takes. So time it from now. So um, I think you'll agree that it's better. I can't stress how useful that little method is. Um, exclusions on the window security, the virus threat thing. Um, anything that takes a little bit of time or a little bit too much time for your liking, if you're on Windows, try it. Now this is just an added bit uh, that I've edited in to the video simply because it suddenly struck me because there will be those of you out there thinking like me well it's only now loading quicker because contact is still open within the DAW so for example if there is a long loading time for one instrument going in you load it takes ages you then close it of course it's going to load quicker the second time so just to prove the point I have shut the computer down I've turned it off I've restarted it I've just reloaded contact. I'm right clicking quick load. Uh, it's still worrying. Um, but let's find Kirk Hunter percussion. Let's do this. Let's time it, shall we? So I hope I've proved that actually it is quick um, and that this method really, really does work. Again, if you have instruments that you feel are taking too long to load or you just want to give this a shot, please, please give it a go. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have found this useful and I hope you find this useful in the future as much as I do. Um, if you like this, please give it a like. If you like what I do, please, please subscribe and ring the bell and you'll be notified of anything else I do in the future. In the meantime, I hope to see you very, very soon. Stay well, stay safe. See you soon.